hi guys welcome back to our channel well the other off is not here the other sister is not here she's gone into town yeah but i'm here cooking and i'm also making some fever grass guess what guys Jama jamaica has all the treatment for anything that you have okay all the herbs are right here in jamaica so i'm making some fever grass okay and it got some benefits in that okay if you got cold if you got cough if you've got um um i think it's good for your blood sugar blood pressure and so on but check it out okay so this is my gung well not gungu piece sorry guys i make a mistake there i am actually doing cow peas with some bulga yeah and I am here washing my bulga. I'm doing the medium size bulga. You can see all how small this size is. And so this is what I will be pouring into the pot. So I'm not using my stick. So you're gonna follow me as I go along. I may have to pause because I need both hands. <laughs> okay, guys. So bulga is actually it does not cook any different from rice so I season my water with thyme spring onion scallion as you would know it in Jamaica and I've cooked my peas and I put my coconut milk in it and so now I've poured it the bulgur just like how you pour the rice in and you put your little salt to taste in the pot so yeah so that's it okay for now so I'm about to season some nice bony chicken back guys yeah yeah I like my bones okay I really love bone yeah I'm not a meat meat person but give me my bone <laughs> you know I like you know a little bit of bone in my meat you know it should just like you know when you Having a fruit and there's no seed in it, you're thinking that it's artificial. It is not a real fruit. I love bone in my meat. I like to see some bone in it, okay? Just like when your body has some bones, I like that. So I'm about to season this. I'm not yet sure if I should curry it, brown stew it. What should I do, guys? Okay? I know most of us, you know, in Jamaica would... Okay. Most of us will say, curry chicken back is the sweetest. Yes, definitely. Yeah. So I'm still, still thinking what I should do. Should I curry it or should I brown it? What is it my spirit is saying, guys? Okay. And so I know that many people would not come to Jamaica and go for chicken back. Why? I want chicken. No. You know, it's still chicken. It's coming from the chicken. It's still chicken. The difference is it's the back of the chicken. You know, it's still chicken. Yeah, it is actually chicken, but the back of the chicken. Okay, and I will be just seasoning this right now. So guys, I have actually got my pepper. Mommy bought some in the market. So yeah, the rice, well, the, the bulga and cow peas will be actually completed with this pepper and so when you are doing your curry chicken back for those who have never done chicken back the chicken back the chicken you hear what it names chicken back is the chicken and the back the chicken and the back okay the back of the chicken as my mom said okay like my back the front and the back <laughs> so you make sure you take off all these fat off it okay so I'm cleaning it up then I'm gonna chop it up fine guys and then you know what cook it up really nice I'm thinking that I'm leaning on to curry really spicy curry chicken and uh, and bulgur with copies now tell me guys does this look any different from rice and it tastes amazing and it's so gentle on your tummy it's really really gentle on your tummy okay so if you're struggling with rice 
just go over to Bulga and cook it exactly like how you will cook rice, okay? So there's my little pepper over there. Look at that, guys, okay? Amazing, amazing. So you see how important it is to take off the fat. Look how many fat will be going into your stomach. It's important to clean it off the chicken, okay? And this can be cooked up for puppies if you've got them. Yeah, so it's important. So I've got a um, uh, Irish potato, potato, potato. In Jamaica, we call it Irish potato. And I'm going to cut this up fine and put it in the curry. I think I'm going to do curry, guys. Yeah, should I do brown? I'm still not sure. What should I do, mommy? Brown or curry? Okay, we're going to do curry. All right. So I'm going to wash it again, then chop it up really fine and curry it. So most of us will use lime vinegar to wash our meat. So mm -hmm. I'm using some vinegar to wash my meat. Yeah, so that's it. That's what I'm doing right now, using some vinegar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. It looks so good. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So I've now completed the cow peas and bulgur and start with the meat now. So this is all that I will be putting in along with um, Maggi Cube. No, I won't be using any salt. I have my turmeric. I have some garlic powder. I have right here some seed. This is basil, okay? And have we got any pimento? Oh, we don't put pimento. Okay, so that's it. And I need to get the curry. Twicken and pork curry. Yeah, the best curry. The best curry. The best curry. There's no other curry like this curry. It's the best. Even the smell of it really delightful so I have now put some oil in the pot and I will now be putting a bit of curry to be burned not everybody do it like this but okay yeah so that's what I'm doing now then I'm gonna pop the chicken in the chicken with the back <laughs> so this is what the curry looks like and over here I have made some dough because I'm gonna make some spinners to put in there now so I'm about to put some water and get my spinners in and then cook down the gravy guys so the spinners are in now guys and so I'm gonna leave this to cook to... it's not looking like what I'm seeing it the curry is not popping on the camera, but I can tell you it's popping in front of my eyes, guys. Really, it's really popping. Yeah, so I'm gonna probably add some more curry in and take it from there. <laughs> All right, guys. Look at this, guys. My curry is coming together. Yes, guys, it is coming together. Curry with spinners, potato, and all the goodies. Yes, you realize that, okay, all the season that I show you, there is no actually original powder season that I grew up on when I was a child. I have actually changed the way that I season my meat. I use more dry herbs than using the season, the powder season that I grew up on. So, you know, you can change your life script as you get older, make changes to your meal, 
and these are much healthier choices the only thing that I've used it was the Maggi cube okay and it is delicious guys so this is actually pure cornstarch and if you want your gravy to be a bit thicker than what it is then you can mix a spoonful of this in water cold water and pour it in and you get the kind of gravy that you want so it is you can say ready guys and so you see look at the gravy beautiful beautiful okay so dinner is ready so this is what it is for today's dinner Friday evening you don't want well actually it's Friday evening and I'm doing copies wheat burger and curry it's Friday normally you fry some dumpling or so on but it, yeah, it's big dinner actually it's big dinner guys big dinner big things is happening in this kitchen our uh, God's hallelujah kitchen from J H Jamaica so guys dinner is served and as I said it is delicious so this is what your dinner look like for tonight guys this is your dinner for tonight so remember guys to like share subscribe and I must say thank you to all my new subscribers thanks guys we appreciate you subscribing sharing with families and friends telling them to subscribe to the twin channel we appreciate you all and we are not just saying it for saying sake without you guys our channel would not be anything it will just be videos just out there but with you guys watching it enjoying it it's what makes the channel what it is so we appreciate all of you thank you new subscribers long time subscribers families and friends we appreciate you all thank you so much ta-ta for now